All right, all right, all right. This is Dr. Monica here, and I'm here with, um, I told you I'd be back. And what I'm holding in my hands is a masterpiece that I completed. Can you see it? It's a painting. I have taken up painting to help me through art therapy, um, to help me heal through my grief uh, from the recent loss of both my Nana and my daddy. All right, so this is how this started. I've always known that art therapy is a very healing process um, when it comes to drawing our emotions on paper. It's a very healing process when it comes to um, connecting ourselves or reconnecting ourselves back to our heart centers. Um, art therapy just does so many things for us. The process of creating art on canvas, the process of creating art through clay or through charcoal or just drawing um, is, is both life enhancing and life affirming. So, um, pardon me, that was a bit distracting. So uh, what I decided to do was take um, a series of art classes and that's what I've done. And I'm really excited about what I have been able to accomplish in just a few short weeks. I want to share with you, um, again, because I just completed this one. This is Sunset Rhapsody. Can you see it? And let me tell you all, this is not any paint by numbers. I did this on a blank canvas, so I'm very proud of this. Sunset Rhapsody, okay? My little signature, Dr. Monica, is in the corner in gold. I love gold, anything gold, highlight, accents. I just love this piece. And then I also have a piece called Golden Radiance. So this is my other masterpiece. And I'm, I'm just so pleased with both of them. Uh, this is, I've only been in my art class for two weeks. I'm going into my third week and I will share with you what I create because there's no telling what I'm going to come home with. Again, blank canvas in front of me, I'm done, okay? I just just let everything, all of my emotions, just everything come out on that canvas. And while I'm being distracted, again, I want to tell you all again that I want you to consider investing in a salt lamp. All right, now, the one that I shared with you two weeks ago was a heart, Himalayan crystal salt lamp in the shape of a heart. This is her sister, Himalayan crystal salt lamp shaped as a rose. And the hue that I'm experiencing here is a very soft pink orange. I know it, it shows up kind of as a translucent or transparent white on screen, but these um, Himalayan salt lamps, I mean, they are giving me life, okay? <laughs> Literally. So you, again, you probably need to invest in one. I now have three and who knows, I might have um, 10 by the time uh, this year is over. But I want to also help you all, if you're going to start with art, uh, whether it's painting or drawing or um, sculpting with clay, what you're going to do in order to connect or reconnect to your heart center is you have to align your crown chakra with your sacral chakra or your sacral chakra with your crown chakra. And your sacral chakra is your 
um, origin of creativity. It is the um, sex organs, literally, the, the area where we carry our passion, um, our juicy vibrance for life, um, our radiance. And so you want to get your sacral chakra, you know, kind of zhuzhed up and, and rejuvenated and restored. And literally that line travels from your sacral chakra, from our groin area, from women, our womb center, which is our center of creativity, and up to the heart muscle, um, while at the same time, the crown is where all of your important ideas come into play. So swirling around the top of your, your head, your crown is where the ideas are. You just really want to bring the crown chakra through your heart center to align with your sacral chakra. So I have a couple of things to help you with that. All right, first I want to um, tell you about my peace of mind, um, natural, all natural blend with essential oils and herbs. This you can buy, click below on the link that says web store, you can find um, peace of mind in my web store, Dr. Monica's Vegas Holistic Health Emporium. We process orders 24-7. This sells for $17.95. But what peace of mind will do for you, um, you use this as a massage oil. It's a real sultry, savory, succulent blend of sandalwood essential oil, a luscious vanilla, a little bit of tangerine, and a few other things that I'm going to keep secret to myself. But um, you want to use this as a massage oil all over, especially in that sacral chakra area. And that's just going to open everything up, all right? And as you are um, nurturing your sacral chakra, you also want to stimulate your crown. You want to stimulate where the ideas come into, right? Okay, so this is Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir, uh, my number one selling product. I can't say enough about Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir. Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir has literally, literally, regrown hair on men, women, men and women who have experienced balding or hair thinning at the crown and at the temples. Um, this is an, a, a blend that's been in my family for 80 years and it's literally you massage a little bit of Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir into your scalp and just watch your hair grow. It's, it's um, as one of my clients says, a life-giving miracle in a bottle. Um, and Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir is sold internationally, um, domestically here in several salons and spas. So I'm really, really proud of this uh, little blue bottle. A little bit goes a very long way. But my point is this. One of the, I'm going to let you in on one secret, one of the essential oils that is in Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir is rosemary essential oil. Now, I love to cook. If you are into cooking, you know what the herb rosemary does to potatoes, to chicken, to lamb, uh, just smelling the fragrance, uh, the aromatic of rosemary. Um, it it kind of does a little bit of something to you. Let me tell you what it does to you. All right, so it helps to stimulate the crown chakra. It helps you to focus. It restores, rosemary restores memory. And rosemary is also very soothing, very calming. Again, it's great for balancing out that cortisol hormone in both men and women that can 
when we are grieving or when we're feeling anxious or when we have just experienced a terrible shock or trauma, that cortisol level spikes because we are our bodies immediately go into fight or flight mode. And uh, what rosemary essential oil, rosemary the herb does, it helps to kind of calm and soothe that stress hormone, that cortisol hormone. So you're going to get it from me. I've already done the blending for you. Uh, Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir. Again, just click on my link to my web store below. This bottle is $17.95. I guarantee you it will stimulate not only your hair growth, but it will also stimulate that crown chakra and start those ideas flowing. And then You've got on the other side, you've got the peace of mind, which has your sacral juiciness and creativity and all of the radiance and vibrance that makes you, you, has all that stimulated. So you've got Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir stimulating you, peace of mind stimulating you, got the Himalayan salt lamp boosting your immunity and giving you crazy amounts of energy, right? I'm not even going to tell you what time it is here in Las Vegas, but it's I'm coming to you right now in the wee hours of the morning. And do I look tired? Okay. All right. And again, if you are experiencing grief or trauma and um you you definitely need a a way to keep that heart chakra keep that heart channel open you never want your heart to close all right um, you, you turn into a different person when your heart closes so force yourself to keep your heart chakra open I'm doing that with my art therapy sunset and rhapsody maybe I'll start auctioning some of my pieces off I'm only kidding all right I'm only kidding that's a whole nother show but um, so that, and then we have the gorgeous uh, golden orchard. That's not what I called it before. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to name this one, but tune in next week because I will have attended a, another art session and I will have another masterpiece that I will be hanging on my wall here in my home and in my aroma lab. And um, I just want to share my journey with you through heart healing and um, to just kind of help all of us. If we're going through a process of grief or trauma, it seems like every day there is some event that triggers grief or trauma um, and again we have to keep our hearts open um, and stimulated with that wonderful creativity and vibrance that makes us unique makes us us and we just have to continue to um, show love give love um, outpouring of love from within this has been dr. Monica Bickerstaff. I am a doctor of holistic medicine and your fountain of youth guru coming to you with a fabulous therapy on how you can use art to draw out your emotions. I'll see you soon. Take care.